all my Alabama fans, you can finally rejoice. So I know that this upcoming season is looking a little bit worrisome. I mean, you are basically losing the heart and soul of your offense, losing both Bryce Young and Jameer Gibbs, as well as losing pretty much every single key piece on that defensive side of the ball. And to focus more on the offensive side of the ball, the quarterback room that you have right now, there's not a clear number one guy, and you're still kind of lacking at the wide receiver position, not truly having that real wide receiver one. Now, obviously Alabama's gonna have to make something shake this year, but the three-headed monster that you guys have coming in in the class of 2024 is going to more than make up for the lack of talent that you have this year. I wanna introduce you guys to the new wide receiver and quarterback combo that you're going to be having at Alabama. So guys, sit back, relax, leave this video a like, and and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. We drop videos all the time, keeping up to date with everything that's going on in college football, especially with Alabama. And guys, sit back and look at the future of Alabama football. Three, two, one. Starting it off, Alabama is bringing in four-star wide receiver Rico Scott. Standing at six foot, 185 pounds, this dude is an absolute burner out here. You can see he just split that whole secondary like it was nothing. Look like they were standing in quicksand. This dude is an extremely quick and just overall just very efficient wide receiver. I would like to see, I, I covered his highlights not too long ago. Sit him down, little boy. I did cover his highlights a little while ago, and the number one thing I wanted to see a, just a little bit more from him was just to not play so stiff. He's very athletic, and he is just extremely explosive, but it seems to be like he's explosive in straight lines. I would like to see him become a little bit more explosive you know, being able to make make guys miss from left to right and just having a little bit more wiggle to his game. But that's something that can be that can be taught to him. The athleticism that Rico Scott has given you cannot be taught. Again, six foot, 185. I mean, he's just able to and then look at the acceleration. Just pull away from him. Pull away from him at the top end. Hey. He's got that home run potential. He's, he's that guy that, you know, he's going to really be eating on a lot of slants, a lot of drag routes. And then every now and again, you can take a shot with him and he's really going to be uh, he's a, a wide receiver that you could throw to on all levels of the field. Again, I want to see him work more on his route running and just having a little bit more fluidness to his game. But once he adds that, he is going to be more than exceptional at that wide receiver position for Alabama. And Alabama needs that top guy. We had a great five-year run where Alabama seemed to have a first-round wide receiver each and every single year. You know, kind of we're lacking that true number one in Bryce Young's final year. So, you know, I mean, Jermaine Burton was solid. You had a couple of solid guys. I mean, just look at him. Just look at him eat up all this ground right here. Just, ah, where are you going? Ah, I got, got him. Yep, yep, bye. And then catch the ball in the back of the end zone. Too easy. Wait, that's great focus on the ball. But, you know, you don't really have your true number one guy. I mean, you guys got Dylan Lonergan and uh, I'm forgetting the I'm forgetting the other freshman that you guys are bringing in. You have Jalen Milrow and you also have uh, I'm forgetting I'm forgetting the the other the other Alabama potential quarterback. And then you guys just brought in Tyler Bachner from Notre Dame. So you have a lot of guys who could be in that quarterback mix, but you still haven't found that true number one guy. Regardless, that number one guy is going to need wide receivers and bringing in a guy like Rico Scott is more than exceptional. This kid, he, he he's going to pan out for Alabama. Just smooth. Get him a ball for you. And Alabama is, of course, having to pair up their four-star receiver from Rico Scott to with five-star wide receiver Perry Thompson. This guy is a big body target. He has Julio, a little mini Julio written all over him. Super athletic, 6'3", 205 pounds. This guy is just an all-around monster. He is going to be that guy that you're just going to be looking to. Anytime that the quarterback's in trouble, he is going to be your safety valve. I mean, look at it's throwing it into double coverage and still somehow coming down with that. Like, every time I see this play, it is insane that he actually came down with that catch. Yeah, Perry Thompson, this dude is an absolute unit at the wide receiver position. Again, 6'3", 205. He is a big body wide receiver. And then just look at how explosive that he is off the line. Cameraman, please keep up. Yeah, this guy, when he gets a when he gets a true QB that can really get him the ball up high where he can win those jump balls, that's where he's really going to shine. I mean, look at him, just easy. That's just easy. Working his way across. Again, super athletic. 
has the top end speed. He's just overall a very smooth player. Normally with guys who are this big, you're not really seeing them be like, they're not going to have the most shiftiness or they're not going to be the fastest. Perry Thomas, Perry Thompson, he is the true embodiment of what every team is looking for. He, he reminds me of like a Quinton Johnston type of wide receiver. Again, big, physical, and athletic wide receiver. Not crazy gifted in like any one thing. Like, don't get me wrong. He's above average speed, but not elite speed. He's above average in size, but not like 6'5", 220. He's a, he's a got above average uh, hops, not like 45 inch vert, 40 inch vert hops. Like he is just a, but he, but he's like Mac, he's like at 85% of all those things. He brings you just a very well-rounded package. And we all know that Alabama knows how to develop their wide receivers. So just getting them out there, letting them, letting them make plays and just Look at it. Like, he's a great yards after the catch guy, too. Like, this guy can flat out play. Yo, his, his teammates were getting blocks for him. Oh, pff, dime. What a throw. He honestly, this play was so open. He could have just taken off and almost scored. That, that was just an easy play. Got him. Look at look, this. I love this angle because you can really see what the receiver's doing. Zoom in on this. He's literally going. He he knows he has to run this out route. He he first goes in to make him think that he's running the fade. Squares up and starts closing the closing the ground on him to really get on his toes and then snaps it off. That's a beautiful route. And then get, get yards after the catch. Yo. And last but certainly not least, Alabama needs a true definitive top tier quarterback and they are getting that in five star quarterback Julian Sand coming out of Carlsbad, California. Hey, the last time that Alabama got a quarterback from California, he was the number one overall pick in the draft in Bryce Young. So, hey, hopefully Julian Sand can be that for Alabama. Now, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. I haven't seen this five star level talent from Julian Sand. I haven't seen what he's looking like at a lot of the, like, the passing leagues that he's going to in like seven on seven. So there's just a lot that I haven't seen. But from like his pure game tape, he's accurate. He, he, yeah, he throws a really good ball. But I haven't seen this like just crazy like five star level quarterback. I think he's a really talented four star quarterback who has solid mechanics. But I, I haven't seen that that five star top three quarterback that a lot of people have him ranked as. But again, Alabama picked him up and he's ranked as a five star for a reason. So, hey, I could just be completely wrong. But regardless, he is going to be the guy that Alabama is going to be looking to build their teams around. He can he can be a solid slightly above a game manager. I think that he can go out there and win you games. But I think most of the time he's going to be just relying on the talent that Alabama has out there. Relying on his receivers to get abundantly open, relying on the run game, and just relying on Alabama's defense to continue to dominate. But I do think that Julian Sane is a is a solid quarterback overall. I just gotta I just gotta see I just gotta see some more. I think he I think he has great mechanics and I think he throws a accurate ball. I'm just not seeing five star quarterback. You guys can comment down below and let me know. But he's gonna have two phenomenal targets to throw to Enrico Scott and Perry Tom Perry Thompson. But yeah, Julian's saying this kid overall, he's very solid. I mean, it's just super compact throwing motion. It just seems like the ball doesn't have like this crazy velocity. Like, nor like this this kind of this throw kind of is like a summary of everything that I've been explaining. Like, don't get me wrong, this is a beautiful throw, but it feels like that ball took an eternity to get there. Like, normally with like these high-level high school quarterbacks, that ball is there now. Like the the time that this little extra half second. That ball would have already been on the receiver. Like, that's where I think that he could really improve his game is just getting more velocity on his passes. Like, I think he has a great arm. I just don't think, like, as far as accuracy and mechanics-wise, I'm just not seeing the arm strength as far as being able to make every single throw on the field. That's where I would really like to see Julian saying continue to grow and develop as a quarterback. But again, he can, he has an accurate ball. Anything with uh, within 40 yards, he can drop it in the bucket. That's a beautiful back shoulder throw. So that is the Alabama trio that is going to be taking over that offense in 2024 in five-star quarterback Julian Sand, five-star wide receiver Perry Thompson, and four-star wide receiver Rico Scott. I think that all three of these guys are going to be impact players very early for the Crimson Tide. I think out of all these guys, 
I actually think that Rico Scott might have a chance of starting the starting earliest. I, I know that he's the lowest ranked out of all the guys. I think that his ceiling is just slightly higher than Perry Thompson's is. I think that Perry Thompson, obviously, he's giving you, he's giving you a bigger frame, and I think he's giving you a, overall just a better player to build around. But I think Rico Scott with this, he he seems just a little bit more explosive the difference between six foot 185 and six three 200 is a big gap but it's not the craziest gap especially with the more route running focused receiving renaissance that we're going through i think that rico scott if he's able to just get a little bit looser with his movements i think he could really be an impact wide receiver for the crimson tide as a as early as a sophomore but i want to hear from y'all comment down below who out of these three are you most excited for who do you guys want as your quarterback in 2023 you have plenty of options there's a lot going on for Alabama, so just comment down below what are your guys' thoughts. I hope that you have a super blessed rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.